Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. And in today's screencast, we'll look at the latest GreenSock update, 1.17.0, which includes very cool feature called small, small, smooth origin, <laughs> smooth origin, which is very handy when it comes to animating SVGs. As you know, the GreenSock team is very dedicated to keep up with the latest SVG specifications and the web standards in general. And in the latest update, they included Smooth Origin feature, which is enabled, so it's set to true by default. And what it lets you is to animate and change the SVG transform origin point without the SVG jumping to a wrong spot. Okay, so by default, as you can see, the point around which the box is animating, so this one is bottom right, and when we change it to top right, you see how it jumps to the original position before the transform. Okay, so this is very messy. My head spins, spins from just thinking about all these things, but luckily we've got a GreenSock team who solves all these for us. So I put together this simple demo where I've got just my head spinning as well. Okay, so I've got a SVG, which has a group Peter and then the head and glasses group. Okay, so I've got two groups, and I'll be animating just the head. Okay, because it spins my head all the time, just thinking about transform origin, and I don't want to get any headaches. That's why I'm using GreenSock. Okay, so I've got a simple variable, which is my head Peter. And then I've got a timeline max which is just a variable TL. Alrighty, so I enabled the first twin, which animates the head to 0 0.8 scale, or 0 0.5, and the duration is 0 0.8. As you can see, it scales from the neck, or where the original, not the original, the original is top left, but I've changed the transform origin to bottom center. Okay, that's why it scales down from that point. Okay, then I will, Add a couple more twins, still keeping the bottom center as the transform origin. So it's gonna shake around the one point in the middle. And then we will change the transform origin to top center. So now we want the whole head to spin around this spot. Okay, so we're changing the transform origin to top center. As you can see, now the head's gonna spin around that point. So we're changing the transform origin. Okay, as you can see, nothing happened because I'm using the latest GreenSock uh, 1.17.0, but if I had an old one and had these to false, you'll see how messy the animation would look. You see how it looks at the top center being the original top center of the element before the transition, before the transform, sorry. Okay, so again, if I disable this, it animates around the correct point because it's enabled by default in the latest GreenSock update. Okay, so very handy. It lets you very easily change the transform origin point. So to complete my animation, I'll enable the rest of it. And as you can see what I'm doing after that, changing it again back to bottom center. And then the last win is around the center point of the SVG. As you can see, all this is nicely smooth without any distractions, anything jumping around. So this is new in a GreenSock 1.17.0. Okay, so, Kyle does a much better job than me explaining what this feature actually does. So play with the original GreenSock demo or watch Carl explaining it in his video on YouTube. Okay, so I'll link to both of these resources in the links below the video if you're watching on YouTube. Now go and grab the latest GreenSock framework update and play with your SVG and animate around whatever point to see exactly how it works. The best way how to learn all these things is to 
Just create a simple code pen demo and play with it. Okay, the, the code pen demo I put together, the green sock cheat sheet helped me a lot. I could just easily grab these snippets and copy and paste it into my code pen. Okay, so if you haven't already, grab the latest green sock cheat sheet from my website or just Google green sock cheat sheet. Hope your head is not spinning from all these updates, origins and SVG inconsistencies. Hope you learned something new in this video. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more videos from the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. And until next time, happy tweening. Bye.